At Healthcare Partners Medical Group, our mission is to provide the highest quality of healthcare to each and every patient. With five locations in Pahrump, we are local doctors you know and trust. We want to thank you for choosing us. Quality care starts here. This portion of the news is brought to you by Affiliated Chiropractic and Affiliated Physical Therapy. Come in for your free consultation. Call 775-727-8900. Our goal is to create the individual treatment plan that will restore your health and end pain. News is also brought to you by Dr. George Leese, Harum's optometrist since 1990, offering full-spectrum eye care for children and adults. Call today, 727-8300. Welcome back, everyone. Paul Ortega invites the public to find out more about Inspiration Senior Living. Uh, it's located right now um, on Honeysuckle. It's going to actually be turning into Java right there next to the, the daycare. And what exactly is the facility for? Well, um, we're going to be uh, helping seniors with independent senior living, assisted living, and we're also going to have a memory care uh, unit on the property that uh, will cater to people with Alzheimer's or dementia type related diseases. How many units do you actually have there, and are they for sale or rent? Or uh, Right now, we're, we're looking about having about 71 uh, studio apartments. Uh, right now, we're not doing any of the leasing. We're just letting the community know that we're, we're here uh, for information. They're more than welcome to come in uh, for potential residency or even potential career change. You're looking to hire all different positions. Correct. Uh, right now, we're looking uh, for... Uh, a nurse, business office director, maintenance director, caregivers, so every position is open right now. This is in good proximity to the hospital as well. The doctors will be able to check in and out on patients um, there at this facility. Yes, uh -huh. and we will actually welcome uh, doctors to be able to come on property to see residents as well. So what does the units consist of? Uh -huh. um, well, we're going to have a, a kitchenette in there. It would be a studio apartment. We also will have one-bedroom apartments, um, balconies and porches. Mm -hmm. um, s the community itself will have central heating and air, mm -hmm. but what's also very exciting is that each individual apartment will be able to be, be climate-controlled as well. And so this will be a 24-hour care facility, independent living, meaning... Um, living on their own but with a little bit of overseeing, um, making sure that uh, they have a little bit of interaction with the ca caregivers. Well, I any resident can move in independently mm -hmm. and we will offer services when and where they need it. Mm -hmm. um, it will be a social environment for um, the seniors to move in and, and have a bingo or uh, certain different activities mm -hmm. uh, for them. Yeah. And you're, you're looking eventually to lease this. When are you looking to open up this facility? We're looking to, to have the opening be at the beginning of the year sometime. And will this be paid for through medical insurance or privately? Well, that's a good question. Uh, Long-term care policies, there are some out there that do cover assisted living needs. Mm -hmm. um, there are some other programs out there for seniors, such as veterans programs. Whether you are a veteran or a spouse of a veteran, there may be some assist assistance that you can receive there. Mm -hmm. um, but for the most part, assisted living and memory care neighborhoods are basically privately paid. So can people apply for this now, or are you going to let us know in the future? Well, um, to go ahead and, and start the leasing part, we'll probably start doing that sometime at the beginning of the year, maybe around January. Mm -hmm. um, so we're not actively accepting deposits on rooms, mm -hmm. uh, but we are actively, like I said, seeking potential residents to give them information, mm -hmm. to uh, collect names and addresses, phone numbers, so we can keep them in the loop of what's going on. Um, emails, we can email pictures of how the building is coming along. We'd like to keep the community um, in the loop of, of what's happening out there. And if you would like to apply for a job, they are hiring for all positions. You can email inspirations at islllc.com. Once again, that is islllc.com. Or go by the office located at 3250 South Highway 160, Suite 9B. And we have received footage from the mayor's office in Aurora, Colorado, which shows the condolence card that was delivered in person to city officials by Pahrump resident Butch Harper. That's right. A th over a thousand signatures from citizens of the town of Pahrump in Nye County were on the card to extend our condolences to victims of that tragic shooting that occurred in a movie theater in which 12 people died and 58 were wounded. The kinds of things that help people in this community to feel better. Things like messages, photos, signatures, 
and plaques. Heartfelt condolences, all sent to the city of Aurora from around the world. In his home, more than 800 miles away in Parump, Nevada, Butch Harper cried when he heard the news of the Aurora theater shootings and knew he wanted to do something. It won't change anything. The tragedy is over with. But hopefully this will sort of soften that pain that the victims and their loved ones have. Harper gathered hundreds of signatures and letters of condolences, made a plaque, and drove to Aurora to meet Mayor Steve Hogan. To get an email is wonderful. To get a letter is fantastic. Uh, to have somebody deliver something from a thousand miles away um, is, is over the top. Harper's support and those of his hometown of Parham and even more near and far is exactly what people in the Aurora community need to help them recover. Knowing that people care helps us to get better. Um, it's part of that process and it's obvious people care. We've had communications from literally around the world. If people in this community haven't heard it so far, they ought to hear it now. So, unfortunately, I've been stuck in the office all day on a gorgeous day. It's so, been really nice, and we have double digits expected for the rest of the week. Tonight is expected to be nice, and remember, tonight, Prump Valley High School is having their football game. I think it's the first home game of the season. I could be wrong. I'm not too much into that, but they're going to be playing Mawapa. So that's at 7 really? o'clock tonight. Yeah, 7 oh, o'clock okay. tonight, so head on down there. It'll be a lot of fun. Yeah, yes, support the so Trojans. <laughs> stick back. Come back for our weather. Yep. Join us at the Prompt Nugget Hotel and Casino with the number one gaming experience and entertainment. The Prompt Nugget has the number one dining experience at Stockman Steakhouse, Golden Harvest Cafe, and the Gold Miners Buffet. Come get your game on at the Prompt Nugget Hotel and Casino. News 46 weather is brought to you by Healthcare Partners Medical Group with five locations in Pahrump. Local doctors and professional staff providing total care from infancy to seniors. News 46 weather is also brought to you by your local dairy farmers. Dairy products are very important in maintaining a healthy body. For more information, you can visit their website at nevadadairycouncil.org. And welcome back. Today we have partly cloudy skies and our high remained under the 100 mark. 97 degrees was our high, so it's nice to still remain in the double digits, although it is pretty high still. Our winds coming out of the south-southwest at 5 with our gusts at 9. Pressure at 29.97 and the UV index went up a little bit from yesterday to 9, very high as opposed to that 8 we had. Humidity at 27% and our sunrise at 6, 10 a.m. Our record was just last year at 112 degrees. Looking now at tonight, we're going to have mostly clear skies with a low of 72 degrees. Winds coming out of the south-southwest at 4 with gusts at 8. Humidity still going to be up there at 44%, although maybe we're getting a little bit accustomed to it. Our sunset is going to be at 7.22 p.m. and our record was back in 1968 at 56 degrees. Tomorrow we're going to have mostly sunny skies, a slight chance of rain, I would say probably a 20% chance. Our high is going to go up by a degree, 98 degrees, and our low, 73 degrees. Winds coming out of the south at 8, with our gusts at 13. Humidity still up there, 33%, and our sunrise at 6, 10 a.m. Our UV index is going to remain at 9, very high. So, looking through the seven-day forecast, we're going to have some, only some clouds Thursday, and then tomorrow, like I said, there is that chance of some rain. Our highs are going to remain in the double digits, but getting pretty close to triple digits once again, as you can see on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, 99 degrees is going to be our high on those days. Our overnight lows, though, aren't looking too bad. Our lowest lows are going to be 71 degrees on Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday. And the public is invited to meet with U.S. Senate candidate Dean Heller, who will, who will visit the Nye County Republican headquarters this Monday from 4.45 to 5.15 p.m. The headquarters are located at 3370 South Highway 160. And the women's self-defense class has been canceled for this weekend. They will start up again in January 2013. 
Nevada Public Auction is holding a huge firearm sale at the Pahrump Nugget. Tonight, you can preview the items in the event center from 5 p.m. until 9 p.m. The auction begins at noon tomorrow. The doors open at 8 a.m. tomorrow for additional preview times. For more information, go to auctionnv.com. And don't forget to head on down to that football game tonight at 7 at Pahrump Valley High School. Yes. <laughs> That's going to do it for this edition of News 46. I'm Zach Fuentes. And I'm Monique Mitchell. We wish you a safe evening and we'll see you here again tomorrow. Until then, good night, Pahrump. Good night.